Hi everyone, my name is Faith Akoyi and this is my YouTube channel. On this channel, we talk about faith, we talk about Jesus, we talk about how we can see ourselves through the lens of the scripture. We talk about how the Bible can come alive in our lives. Today, I just want to create an awareness for we Christians. I don't know if many of us know that being a Christian does not give room for laziness being a christian does not give room for 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 us to just be be relaxed being a christian does not give room for for us to just be comfortable being average i've noticed that many christians many strong believers many people that you see how diligent they are in the things of god you see how diligent they are and when it comes to spiritual things level of diligence they give to spiritual things they do not give it to to their work to their job to their business to their education to their family do you know that not every one of us is called into um, fivefold ministry? Not every one of us will be a prophet. Not every one of us will be an apostle. Not every one of us will be a teacher. Not every one of us will be a pastor. Some of us are called into uh, in different offices outside the church. Some of us are called into business. Some of us are called into industry. Some of us are called into, you know, into education, into different sphere of influence. And you will wonder that how can I reflect Christ as a businessman? How can I reflect Christ as, as somebody working in a bank? How can I reflect Christ as a content creator? How can I reflect Christ outside the wall of the church? How can I reflect Christ as a student? How can I reflect Christ as a parent? And we are here today to have that discussion that Christ can be revealed in how diligent you are in your work outside the world of church. Christ can be revealed in how prompt you are, how excellent driven you are in your job. I mean, you cannot be a Christian and be lazing around at that job that pays your bill. You cannot be a Christian as a student and not read your book. You cannot be a Christian as a business owner and not put in the work into your business and people cannot see how you reflect Christ. Do you know the reason why people don't take we Christians seriously anymore? It's because we are spiritual, but we they do not see, you know, that spirituality is not reflecting in our day-to-day -day life. We will not always be in church. We will not always have the opportunity to tell somebody that Jesus loved them or to sit them down and preach. But we can, people can see who we stand for in how we deliver our work. And this reminds me of a story of, of a brother, a very spiritual brother, tongue speaking, you know, Bible reading. Yes, he served the Lord. He loved the Lord. That one time I gave um, a job, to, um, I called to come help me with a job. And I, you know, with the mindset, I, I had looked at this person as someone that is, you know, that is a child of God, that is, that is true, that is serving God diligently. So I thought that it will reflect in, in the delivery of his work. Let me tell you something. Do you know that this brother disappointed me? I was so heartbroken. I was like, how can you be this in church and you are not, you are not diligent in your delivery at work? It is not only in the amount of prayer that we pray. It is not only the amount of the word that we study. All these things should reflect in our day-to-day -day life. The Bible said, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form. Darkness overshadowed the earth. God didn't get up to start praying. The Bible said, and the Lord said, let there be light. He put in the work. He didn't just fast away. God didn't just say, oh, let us pray for light. Or God didn't just say, no. He put in the work. The same thing when God created man. The Bible said he saw that what he created was good. He said, let us come together and make man. There is a place of making. There is a place of praying. There is a place of you being diligent in your work. How are you going to tell someone in your office that you're a Christian when you are lazing around at your job? How are you going to tell somebody that you're a Christian when your business, they do not see the growth in your business? How are you going to tell somebody that you're a Christian when you as a student, all you do is pray, 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 and you are failing at your, you know, at your work in school? How are you going to reflect Christ to your children when all they see is, oh, mommy is this, daddy is this. They do not understand the Bible you are teaching them and the way and your way of life. The Bible says, go into the world and preach the gospel. Many of us, all of us will not have the opportunity to stand on the pulpit to preach. All of us will not have the opportunity to, you know, to, to practically open our mouth to say Jesus. Some of us are working in an environment that we are not even allowed to, to say it. But people can see Christ in you, in how diligent you are. 
How diligent are you in your work? How diligent are you in your career? How diligent are you as a parent? How diligent are you as a student? This is a time for reflection. Let us reflect on our lives. Let us preach Christ well in our actions, in our character, in our work, in our day-to-day. Day life and this is how we can bring people to christ when people see that oh this brother is not just speaking in tongues this brother is not just praying we can see him put in the work and we have leverage as as children of god because the bible said he will got it he will bless the work of our hands which work is in your hand that god wants to bless I want us to think about it. I want us to work on ourselves. I want us to preach Christ right. I want us to live a life that people will take us serious when we talk about this Jesus. People will not just take us as a joke. People will not just term poverty to being a Christian. Yes, you can be in a Christian and be wealthy. You can be in a Christian and be thriving. That is God's plan and purpose for us. The Bible says the plan that I have towards you, they are of good and not of evil everything good is in christ everything excellent is in christ so let us do our best to portray christ to these people by not only by our words not only by prayer and fasting but also by our action and by our character thank you for joining me today i pray this blesses you share in the comments share with me your life experience have you ever seen someone that you know you respect so much as a child of God and you see them lagging behind in their business or in their career. Please, I want to hear your views in the comment section. Thank you and God bless you. Please do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell. Help us share this video to one or two persons as this helps us get more views. God bless you.